this is why even the demigods would like to take both now on this planet because Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come and give the Maha Mantra, the holy names, Bhakti, okay. chanting, chanting and dancing, taking prasad, you know. What is prasad? The temple, prasadam, food that is offered to Krishna. So in the Catholic Church, they offer food like they say communion, wine, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. So what makes why why should a person eat prasad instead of just um praying over their food? I could go home and pray over my food. So what's so special about prasad? Well, you could also go home and pray over your food, yes, but you gotta know how to do it. It can't be done anyhow. It gotta be done proper, you know. So this is a way we, 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 we practice in order to call to get that to be to, in order to um to purify this food to be purified, you have to be somebody who qualifies to purify the food. Okay. So this is why we practice. Good? The regulated principles, the chanting, everything goes together. You know, chanting, glorifying the holy names of the Lord. And when we, we ask the Lord to accept this food, we ask the Lord in the way of chanting the Maha Mantra and begging the Lord to please bless this food so we can partake of it. Okay. okay. But if I am, my consciousness is not clean, mm -hmm. I cannot offer the Lord anything. Okay. You understand? I have to be in the right, uh, in the right standard, the right way, everything I'm going to be together in order to offer. Good. So if I take some biscuit and say, Lord, please bless this, no, that is not. That would that offering won't be accepted. Okay. You understand? Give me one second. He is the only cook I know that's not grilled cheese. <laughs> that's Sorry. true. And if if you um if you if you're not if you're not in the right frame of mind, you cannot offer things to the Lord. So Every what's the specifics? Like, can I offer him? Like, let's say I don't know. Some people like to eat a lot of fish. Can I? No. The Lord does not accept. Food stuff like these food stuff. Like the Lord, like he said in um in Bhagavad Gita, he said Pashpam Pulam Pashpam Pushpam Pulam Toyam. You understand me? Offer me fruit, flower, leaf with love and devotion, and I'll accept it. Mm -hmm. Good? And just like in Genesis, the Lord said, I uh, give you every herb bearing seed as your meat. As your meat. You understand? But we want to live animalistic life, so we want the taste of meat and flesh. We want to taste the meat, the flesh, so we kill the animals and we partake of the flesh. You understand me? And we want to say we we, we offer to God, so we say in the name of the Lord, we, we say, "Oh Father, please," that, and and we, and we say prayers like these things. But this food is not accepted by God. What? So you say nothing with blood in it. He God don't want nothing with does blood. Does not accept anything with blood. Anything that you offer to the Lord got to be what he say that we should eat. In the Bible it also says if you slay an ox is like you slay a man. That means don't kill the cows. Good? So we have people killing the cows in the name of God also. Committing sinful activities. And a lot of them know that they're doing wrong things. But because of doing it as a business, they don't want to give up this business. So they keep practicing in this way. And they're encouraging me and you to go to hell with them. Mm, mm. Because all this is hellish activities, and even in the Bible says that there are people going to use my name, right? And they're performing satanic activities, and it's true. So you're saying that, in essence, then, if a person kills an animal to satisfy their taste bud, that's actually a satanic. That is sin. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're actually practicing the go to hell. Wow. Meat eating, gambling, intoxication, illicit sex life is hellish activities. Okay. They take both in, in, in the hellish planet. Good. Mm -hmm. And most of them, most, most, most of the people are there thinking they're doing these things and they're going to church and they're coming out of church and they're feeling everything is okay. And when they die, they're going to enter the heavenly kingdom. It's not so cheap to even enter heaven. To go to the heavenly planet, there's a you gotta be very, 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 very um, religious to a certain extent. That you leave your body and you didn't get a chance, the Lord said, okay, take, take both in the heavenly planet because you desire, you deserve that. But if we're doing hellish, hellish activities, how could we take both in heaven? Right, right. How could we take both in Brahma Lok? How could we take both in these higher planets? If we're doing hellish activities, we've got to take both in the lower planets. Okay. So this is how 
Krishna consciousness in this age of Kali Yuga, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nama Eva Kevalam Kalunas Devanas Deva, Gati Ranyata. In this age of Kali there is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. Is no other way. But to chant the holy names, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare. And the name Krishna means what? The all attractive one, Rama, pleasure given, Father, and Hare, you know, the energy. So you're chanting, oh energy of the Lord, please engage me in your devotional service. So when we're chanting this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we're begging the Lord to please engage us. We're begging the Lord to please come and communicate with us in the form of devotion. So at the time of death, we remember to chant Hare Krishna Rama, the Lord himself come and take us back to the spiritual world. Great.